Could blood flow to your brain be the reason why hyperbaric oxygen therapy is not working for you? It's a really important question, and it's one we got today in the clinic, so it's worth talking about. Let's start with what is the benefit of using HBOT or hyperbaric oxygen? Well, number one, it allows us to be able to take advantage of the Bohr effect. And what that means is we can use pressure to be able to increase the amount of carrying capacity of oxygen on a hemoglobin. What does that mean? It means that like per red blood cell, per hemoglobin molecule, you can cram more oxygen onto it. So if you've got circulation and we want to be able to help cells heal, if we can get more oxygen per unit of blood, then we can push it further into the system. That can be very, very useful for healing and it's a great tool. But we'll find that for some people, that's just not been the effective thing. And one of the reasons to consider is one that we talk about quite a bit. We see a lot of people, especially people with autonomic problems, people that are dealing with post-concussion syndrome, that have impediments to actually getting blood from flowing from their heart to their head. And when we measure that with a transcranial Doppler, we can see the changes, especially for people when they do things like you know standing up, when they are moving and turning their head. These different types of inputs can impair the way that we are delivering blood flow to the head. So for a certain portion of that population, the simple question is, well, we know with HBOT, we're relying on that blood flow carrying more oxygen to push further into the tissue. But what happens if we actually have decreased the amount of cerebral blood flow? If that is true and we have something that's an impediment to getting blood into your brain, then it doesn't really necessarily matter how much hemoglobin or how much oxygen is being carried on that hemoglobin, we're not able to get enough of that flow rate through to the system. So it's kind of like we have boats that are full of supplies, but there's something that's damming the river and we can't get them through. And if that's true, we want to do things that allow that blood flow to be able to permeate again, to be able to get it flowing again, so that we can take advantage of the effects that we'd see with something like hyperbaric oxygen. So is it a bad tool? Absolutely not. It's one that we really promote here in the clinic, but we want to make sure that we're not overlooking some of the just simple, you know, blocking and tackling of being able to deliver oxygen. We've got to be able to deliver blood too. So I hope that helps. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I know a lot of people, hyperbaric oxygen is kind of a love it or hate it sort of thing. We happen to love it and um, we hope that it's useful for you. Let us know. Take care.